In this video, we're going to solve optimization problems involving area or volume. It says, an open top box is to be made from a 42-inch by 48-inch piece of plastic by removing a square from each corner of the plastic and folding up the flaps on each side. What is the maximum possible volume in cubic inches of the box? You may enter an exact answer around to the nearest hundredth. So we're going to use a... Well, first of all, let's draw what this box looks like. So an open top box. We have a box that looks like this, and then in each corner, we've got some flaps. So this is like a box that you would maybe get from J.C. Penney's back in the day where you, you know, it's folded up and you have a piece of clothing that you get at Christmas in this box. Uh, open top box would mean it's just folded in the corners. So we've got a 48 inch by 42 inch. So we're gonna say that this is 48 inches. This is 42 inches. But then the, these have some side lengths here, these little tabs. We really don't know what uh, those tabs need to be for uh, width and height in order to fold this up and get the maximum volume. Uh, so, what we're searching for here is X. How big, how high, basically what's the height of this box? So to do that, we're going to start by using the volume equation. So we're going to say that the volume equation for a box is length times width times height. Now, we're going to do some substituting in here for this equation. So our height here is x. We can write that here. h is going to be x. Uh, you can see that that when you fold it up, right, this this would be the height of the box. Um, where the, our length is going to be the length of the box once folded up would be 48 minus 2x. So we're going to say that l is equal to 48 inches minus 2x. And you can see that here that you have this x value here which would be part of the length of this x value here. When you fold it up, you're going to get basically 48 inches goes from here to here. So you have to subtract out the 2x. And we'll do the same thing for the 42. So we're going to say the width is 42 minus 2x. So let's go ahead and plug those things in. So we got the volume is equal to uh, 48 minus 2x. times 42 minus 2x and then times x and let's distribute here so we end up with 48 times 42 2016 and then 48 times negative 2x that'd be negative 96x negative 2x times 42 would be negative 84x. And then negative 2x minus times negative 2x would be positive 4x squared. That's all times x. So if we rewrite this, this would be 4x cubed. This will be negative 96 minus 84. Negative 180 x squared plus 2016 x. So that's our volume equation that we have here. And uh, before we differentiate this, because we're going to have to differentiate this, set it equal to zero to find the maximum or minimums. We're using that uh, first derivative to do that. We're actually going to apply the extreme value theorem to this. So the extreme value theorem basically it says that the function needs to be continuous and have a and be bounded. So we're going to bound this thing by saying that our values for x here have to range between So our values for x have to range between 0 uh, and I shouldn't have a bracket there. That should be a parenthesis on the 0. We cannot have the sides of this thing be 0. Right? If the tabs were zero, then we wouldn't even have a, a, um, a box. So 
it has to be greater than zero, but there is a limitation on how big X could be. Because if X, let's say this X here, were to be larger than 21, then these two tabs would be overlapping, which um, wouldn't make any sense. So this X value here has to be less than 21 because if it's more than 21, it's over half of uh, the box's width. So it's gotta be at least less than 21. So it's, we're gonna say that uh, X has to be for between zero and 21. Okay. So now we're bounded and uh, we have this equation for volume. So what we're gonna do is we're going to set that equal to zero and we're gonna solve that thing. So, well, derivative first. Uh, so we're gonna take V prime, which is equal to 12 X squared minus 360 X plus 2016. So now that we've taken the derivative, then we're gonna set it equal to zero. So we're gonna have 12 x squared minus 360x plus 2016. And just for kicks, I'm going to try to divide this by 12. And I do end up with, if I divide each piece by 12, I get 0 equals x squared uh, minus See, 360 divided by 12 is 30x plus 168. Now I want to see if I can factor that. So we're going to say 0 equals, can it be factored? So factors of 168. Um... 168 divided by 9. So factors of 168, I'm going to kind of break these down. 168 would be 3 and 56. And this would be 8 and 7. So then we get 2, 2, and 2 here when we break down the 8. So we're trying to get negative 30 here. What are some ways maybe we could do that? Well, I'd take 7 times 3, and that would be 21. Ah, that wouldn't work. 21 and 8. Um, nope, not quite. That'd be 29. So then we're going to do, let's see. We're going to do 3 times 8. That'd be 24. That's not going to work. Let's see, 3 times 2 times 2. 6, 12, I'm not seeing, yeah, it's not, it's not looking like it's factorable. So let's jump right into the quadratic formula then. So if we do that, we're going to say that, uh, let's see, got it equal to zero. I'm going to kind of cross this out. Quadratic formula, we're going to say X is equal to negative B plus minus root B squared minus 4AC all over 2a. So x is going to equal, that'd be negative, negative 30, plus minus root b squared, which would be negative 30 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times 168 here. all over two times one. So let's go ahead and evaluate this. It's 30 plus minus, it's 900 on the inside, minus four times 168. So I end up with plus minus root of 228 all over two. Now we're gonna go through and we're gonna figure out these decimals here. So I'm gonna say that x is equal to 30 plus, we're gonna say 30 over two plus 
root 228 over 2. And then x is equal to 30 over 2 minus root 228 over 2. And we're going to see what values we get for each of these. So root 228. Divided by 2, plus 15, this is 22.5. And then, we're going to do 15, and this is 7.45. So this one can't actually work because remember our, we're bounded by 0 to 20, 21 here. So this 22.5, that's out of our domain. So 7.45 is our maximum uh, for x. So we're going to say that x is going to equal 7.45, and that this is our maximum This is our maximum uh, height for this thing. Now they wanted to know the maximum volume. So what we need to do is we need to take this 7.45 and plug it into this equation here. Or not V prime, and plug it into the original equation. So we'll plug it into V. So if we do that, I'm going to write that down here. Let's say V of 7.45 is going to equal. And I'll use the calculator to do that. So I have 4x cubed. minus 180x squared plus 2016x I get uh, 26,000 let's see oop I screwed that up I get 6,682 inches cubed for the volume. So that would be the maximum volume there.